glimpses to Basel World. We just got in last night in Switzerland. It's gonna be awesome. We're finally here at the world famous Basel World watch and jewelry show. We've taken planes, trains, automobiles, it's been a good taxis. Adventure. We even took a ferry boat to get here. But we're finally here and we're happy to be here. We're gonna bring you everything we see, all the new watches, all the new adventures. So check us out. When you come to Basel World, one thing that's really gonna stand out is the booths that these vendors have. The attention to detail has not been left out. These booths are amazing. When you walk into them, it's like walking into just a luxury event. They really want to showcase, highlight their watches, and believe me, they've really done it with these booths. Hey, I'm here with Ennery with uh, Houdinki, and uh, this is my first time at uh, at the Basel World. What should I be looking for here? Well, you should definitely check out what Rolex uh, is introducing this year. Obviously, they came out with a new uh, Rolex GMT2 with the Pepsi-inspired uh, bezel. I think that's one of the winners this year, but I'm, uh, what's catching a lot of us by surprise is the new Tudor uh, version of of the GMT with a similar Pepsi style bezel at a fraction of the price at about $3,700, $3,800 or something along those lines. Okay, it's I'll a just, great release. I'll have to yeah. check that out. I did see the Rolex one and you know, I have the Batman, so I'm a GMT fan. Yeah, so. indeed, indeed. So uh, I'm looking forward yeah, to that. Yeah, Rolex. I'll, I'll check out the Tudor. Rolex always, Rolex and Tudor always come out with the heat. And thanks for your time. Of course, anytime. And you enjoy the show. Likewise. Well, that's a wrap on day one of Basel World. Hope you enjoyed our coverage. We met a lot of really interesting people. We saw some cool watches, some really neat releases. Anyway, we'll be back tomorrow with another installment. Have a good evening. <laughs>